Hey you guys, it's Christina and I'm so happy to be here with you today to do my very first Friday FAQ video. I asked you all on my Instagram stories if you'd be interested in me doing a Friday FAQ video where we can just talk about anything, whether it be veganism, lifestyle, love, health, wellness, whatever it is, but that I would pick one question from you on my Instagram stories to answer in a YouTube video. And all of you said yes, so here we are and we're gonna give this a try. Now, I wanna say I am fully dedicated to doing this. No matter where I am in the world, I will pop out my camera, I will sit down, we will make this happen and I will answer a really good question from you every single week. However, I don't wanna say that this is gonna be forever because I just wanna see how it goes, I wanna see how people respond, I wanna see if you guys like it, if you don't, if you don't like it, we can try something else. But for now, I'm actually really excited about this. I think it'll give us an opportunity to connect together on a deeper level. It will give me an opportunity to get to know you better on a deeper level, and I'm so excited for that. If you don't know who I am, my name is Christina. I've been a fully raw vegan for over 13 years, and my channel is dedicated to health and wellness. If you're just here and you're joining us, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and join the family. I'd love to have you. My necklace can't keep straight today, so we're just gonna let her do its thing. I don't know, I keep trying. I'm currently in Denver for one day. I spoke at the Dish Network today for the Dish Women's Network, and it was amazing talking about female entrepreneurship, health and wellness. And then tomorrow I leave for Costa Rica for a secret reason which I can't reveal to you yet, but you will find out very soon. And then from there I fly to Poland, and I'm gonna be speaking at a vegan health and wellness event in Poland, which is going to be amazing. There's gonna be more than 700 people there. I can't wait to go. And then from Poland, I fly to LA to speak at the LA Veg Fest. And then from there, I fly to Houston for a few days, and then I go to Bali for my retreat. So yeah, there's gonna be a, a whirlwind of things happening right now. My seven day fully raw vegan challenge also starts at the end of next week, which I cannot wait for. It's gonna be so much community, so much support, so much love, so much wellness. If you're interested in any of these things that I'm doing or if you want to keep up with me, you can follow my Instagram, watch my stories. All of my most recent up-to-date things are definitely there for you. So I've decided for these FAQ videos, I'm going to pick one good question every week to answer. I mean, I may answer a couple more in there because these are going to get pretty intimate. But I'm going to choose one question a week. So they're not going to be light questions. I really want to get like the nitty gritty ones. So for those of you who do submit questions to my Instagram when I ask, make them good questions because most likely I'll be answering the really, really good ones. In this first go round of questions that I asked you guys on Instagram, I had so many and uh, I probably will answer some of these in a future video, but the one that stuck out to me the most for today's question comes from Shana Susan. Hey Shana. And she said, do you see yourself being a fully raw vegan forever? You know, I've been asked every question in the book, trust me, down to like what my poop routine is like. People have asked me everything. But I've never had a person ask me if I see myself being a fully raw vegan forever. Now, I wanna answer this one with so much authenticity and truth because it's a very real deep question. So before I give you my answer, I just wanna say, I am a promoter of health and wellness. Like I promote people doing the best that they can, uh, living the healthiest lifestyle possible, to not just better our own health, but also to help the animals and the planet as well. This compassionate lifestyle isn't just about us, it's about so much more than just us. It's an unselfish way of living by choosing to make choices that benefit every living being. So with that said, I'm always a promoter of veganism, for sure. Even though I've been a raw vegan for 13 years, I promote the ethics of veganism, absolutely. I simply believe that raw veganism is like the one step up above that, not that it's better, it's just the more intense way of living. I also want to say that nobody can predict the future. Nobody knows what's going to happen. You don't know what kind of circumstances are before you. You only know what you've dealt with in the past and hopefully at this point uh, in your life you have a good understanding of what you like and what you don't like, what helps you to feel like you thrive, what makes you feel your best, and more. For those of you who don't know my story, 
I became a raw vegan when I was 18 years old when I was battling type 2 diabetes. And I naturally reversed my diabetes, my hyperglycemia, which is high blood sugar, by adapting a raw vegan diet, which became my lifestyle. And I fell so much in love with it that here I am 13 years later and I don't see myself living any other way. I don't ever have cravings. I don't ever desire cooked food or bad food. It's been so long since I've had uh, other things that my body just naturally gravitates towards salivating at fruits and vegetables. And they taste so good to me now. I've been able to make every recipe raw vegan. So if you threw uh, a pasta recipe at me, it's like, okay, I can make zucchini noodles. If you threw a cheesecake recipe at me, it's like, okay, I'm gonna make a cherry cheesecake raw vegan. I've been able to make the raw vegan versions of almost every recipe. And for me, not only do they taste better, but they make me feel better. So in answering this question, I do wanna say, I don't know what the future holds and I don't know if I'm ever in a situation where raw food isn't available, my next best option would be vegan. Uh, granted, I, there's, there's a lot I have to say about this because I have been a raw vegan for 13 years and I've never once been in a situation where I couldn't find raw fruits or vegetables or any type of raw food within a 24 hour time period. I've also done a nine day water fast and I've done a 42 day long juice cleanse before. So my body knows how to go without food and knows how to rest and rejuvenate in moments like that. And I've never felt so desperate or had cravings so bad that I wanted to just break my raw vegan streak and go for a bowl of cooked food. Um, and there is something to be said about like steamed veggies and whatnot because if I ever had to resort to vegan, it would most likely be steamed vegetables or beans or grains or legumes those foods don't necessarily make me feel my best and or at my highest energy but if I had to choose the next option that would be it I know for a fact that I would never resort to eating meat or dairy again not after knowing what I know now not after feeling how I have felt the past 13 years I know for a fact that I would not go back to consuming any animal products so to answer this question in short I do believe I'll be a fully raw vegan for the rest of my life. Uh, if not 100% fully raw vegan, then at least 90% fully raw vegan. I love this lifestyle so much, and I've dedicated my life to educating people about this because I love it so much. I can't, I can't think of a better way that I'd like to live. I almost feel like I stumbled across some magical gift that's changed my life. Now I'm not saying that this is the path for everybody because everybody's different and will have different needs and desires. I'm just saying that this has been such a profound, magical gift in my life and I just get so excited to share it with other people because I see that it can help people. So to answer this question, I absolutely do see myself being a fully raw vegan for the rest of my life. If not 90% fully raw, uh, 10% vegan if it ever got to that point but I just if I've been able to make it work this long I don't see why I wouldn't be able to make it work in the future I would say as long as I have a choice this is my choice 100% I am fully committed to this lifestyle I'm fully committed to veganism I'm fully committed to health and wellness and the funny thing is, is that I feel like raw vegan used to be really popular like five or six years ago when it was exploding on the internet and everybody wanted to do it, everybody wanted to try it. And then vegan became a little bit more popular as the more accessible thing to do. Oh, you can eat junk food vegan this, junk food vegan that. Uh, while it's great for the animals, sometimes it's not so good for your health to, to eat so much transition food like that. I believe our diet should be more fruit and vegetable based no matter which way you go and at the very least you can still consume one fully raw vegan meal a day. Now this is me talking judgment free, this is me just adding my opinion. I'm not telling anybody to do anything, I'm not giving solicited advice, I'm just merely sharing my opinion on this. Down to my core belief, fruits and vegetables are the way to go, 100%. If that can be the base of what you're eating, you're good, you're golden, you're making a change. Celebrate your steps uh, in the right direction. So I know at that time when everybody was, so I know at that time when a lot of people started switching to eating vegan, 
I didn't because I don't see this lifestyle as a trend. I don't see raw food or vegan as a trend. I actually see it as a way of life that can benefit all. So I never went on the vegan train in regards to like adding more cooked food or junk food into my diet. I just kept it raw because for me, my beliefs are still the same. I still believe in the core ethics of veganism, not eating animals, being uh, compassionate to all living beings, saving the environment, being good to your body and your health. All of my core beliefs are still the same. It's just I believe that eating raw foods only enhances that part for me um, and makes me feel better. I'm not in this for, for trends. Otherwise, I mean, I was doing raw foods for six years, almost seven years, before I was even on social media. I also don't believe in dogmatism. I really believe that if we're all in a healthy mindset way of living, that we can all best improve ourselves. And this isn't about getting it perfect or right or being a competition. This is about you feeling good and you making choices that you feel comfortable with and that help to also better the planet and the earth. It can be a win-win for everybody. It doesn't have to be one or the other. I started sharing this message long ago and I'm gonna continue sharing this message. I'm grateful and honored to be a part of a revolution where people can improve their body, their minds, and their spirit. So I think that's my answer for today. My first question on FAQ Friday. I think this was a good first question. I do, I like it, I'm excited for more. I wanna thank you all for joining me today. If you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave more questions below. I'll be answering one really good question a week. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the family because clearly I have a lot more coming down the pipe. You can join me on my future adventures or you can follow me on my other social media at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready to go in, get ready for my next flight. I love you all, I appreciate you all and I'm so happy to be here with you. See you soon.